Hello everyone, and welcome back to You Can Do TV channel. In this video, we will explore the incredibly hypnotic production processes all around us. In the ever-evolving landscape of manufacturing, the integration of cutting-edge technology has become synonymous with innovation and efficiency. At the heart of this transformation lies Marshall Trailers, a company that has embraced the future by investing £1 million in SAP factory management software, revolutionizing its production process and ushering in a new era of control and precision. From the perspective of the trailer manufacturing process, this shift marks a pivotal moment where technology seamlessly melds with craftsmanship to redefine the art of production. Stepping into Marshall Trailer's factory today unveils a scene of orchestrated efficiency guided by the watchful eye of SAP software. This very same software has proven its mettle in managing industry giants like John Deere, New Holland and Kloss in the agricultural sector, solidifying its position as the gold standard in process management. As the trailer manufacturing process kicks into gear, SAP's omnipresent influence becomes palpable. From the inception of an order to the final delivery, no facet escapes its meticulous oversight. Drawing inspiration from the meticulous methodologies of the automotive industry, Marshall Trailer's technological metamorphosis is evident in the minutia. The software's impact is felt in numerous domains, starting with planning, where it orchestrates a symphony of variables, from staff allocation to raw material procurement, to choreograph a flawless production routine. With SAP's adept management, machines were with newfound precision. Cutting, brake presses, folding, and robot welding are guided by an invisible hand that ensures accuracy down to the smallest fraction of measurement. Standing in the heart of the Marshall Trailers factory, one is confronted by the sight of a SAP-controlled bandsaw operating within the realm of the red zone, a testament to the trust placed in this intelligence system. Nearby, robot welders dance in a choreography of precision, their every movement calibrated by SAP's algorithms. The convergence of human expertise and digital mastery results in welds that are not only strong, but visually impeccable. However, SAP's dominion doesn't end with machinery. It extends to the very environment itself. The software deftly manipulates the climate within the factory, regulating temperature and humidity to create the perfect conditions for the trailer painting process. In the newly established shop blasting and paint spraying facility, SAP's orchestration is evident as it times the application process to the nanosecond. This meticulous control guarantees that each trailer leaving the factory flaunts a consistent and enduring finish, a hallmark of quality and attention to detail.
Beyond the factory floor, SAP's influence pervades every corner of Marshall Trailer's operation. The software takes charge of the intricate ballet that is inventory management, with over 8,000 made parts and an additional 10,000 bought-in components to oversee. SAP's prowess shines as it ensures that the right part is in the right place at the right time. This harmonization of inventory management eliminates bottlenecks and keeps the production process flowing smoothly. The true testament to SAP's impact, however, lies in the very essence of Marshall Trailer's products. With its guidance, the company has embarked on a journey towards producing consistent high-quality trailers with each passing batch. A shining example is a line of identical VES rear discharge spreaders, flawlessly produced on schedule and ready for their designated destinations. This level of uniformity and precision wouldn't be possible without the guiding hand of SAP. The full automatic anchor bolt production line is characterized by its integration of CNC-operated machinery, automation, and advanced processes. The process begins with the automatic material feeding machine, which supplies the raw materials required for anchor bolt production. The 360-degree raw material straightening machine follows, meticulously aligning the materials for optimal processing. The aggregate conveyor system takes over, transporting the straightened raw materials to the subsequent stages of production. Here, the crocodile-type hydraulic cutting machine steps in, accurately cutting the materials to the desired lengths, consistently meeting the required specifications. Continuing down the line, the numerically controlled sizer comes into play, shaping the raw materials into anchor bolts of precise dimensions. Hydraulic bevel angle cutting enhances the structural integrity of the bolts and ensures a secure fit in their intended applications. As the anchor bolts progress further, they enter the number one automatic production line, a crucial phase housing specialized machines dedicated to various tasks. The combined type hydraulic necking machine operates in conjunction with the hydraulic thread rolling machine to create the distinctive features necessary for secure anchoring. Ensuring the quality of each component a nut screening machine sieves out perfectly formed nuts, guaranteeing a flawless final product. The automatic screw machine of combined nuts expertly assembles the nuts onto the bolts, achieving a seamless integration. Of particular note is the integration of a damping nut bolt, designed to absorb vibrations and contribute to the longevity of structures. A key player in the line is the full automatic punching and pin machine a highly precise device that enhances the structural integrity and functionality of the anchor bolts. The bolts emerge from this stage with added strength and utility, poised for the next phase of production. The journey concludes with meticulous attention to packaging and distribution. A strapping and finishing machine arranges and packages the anchor bolts, ensuring their presentation and protection during transport. The automatic steel strapping machine takes over, securely binding the anchor bolts into bundles that are ready for shipping. Even the final steps are executed with the same level of automation. The CNC stack crane effortlessly handles the loading process efficiently moving the packaged anchor bolts to designated storage or shipping areas. The crocodile-type hydraulic cutting machine takes over to accurately cut the raw materials into specified lengths. Numerical control comes into play with the sizing process, where a combined hydraulic necking machine is utilized to shape the anchor bolt heads, while a hydraulic thread rolling machine imparts the necessary threads onto the shaft.
the production line incorporates innovative technologies such as a combined spinning and impact extrusion machine, cold rolling mill, and automatic point welding machine. These machines work together seamlessly to create anchor bolts with superior strength and precision. The twist machine adds the final touches to the anchor bolt design, enhancing its performance characteristics. The automatic screw machine for combined nuts adds versatility to the production line, allowing for the attachment of various nut configurations to the anchor bolts. To ensure the durability and aesthetic appeal of the anchor bolts, the production line includes processes like full automatic punching and pinning. Following these processes, anchor bolts may pass through a painting and drying room, where protective coatings are applied and cured to enhance corrosion resistance. After passing through the painting and drying stage, the anchor bolts proceed to the strapping and finishing machine. This machine streamlines the packaging process by efficiently bundling the anchor bolts for transport and distribution. An automatic steel strapping machine secures the finished bundles, ensuring they remain intact during handling and transit. Incorporating automation into the production process is further highlighted with the inclusion of a CNC stack crane. This advanced crane system handles the movement and storage of raw materials and finished products within the production facility, enhancing efficiency and minimizing the need for manual labor. The functioning of a heavy-duty face lathe machine designed to process rotor shafts and axles with a load capacity of 120 tons is a complex and intricate process that involves precision engineering and advanced control systems, Here's an overview of how this impressive machine works. Setup and loading. The process begins with positioning the massive rotor shaft or axle onto the lathe's bed. This is a critical step as the workpiece needs to be securely held to withstand the intense forces and vibrations during machining. Hydraulic or mechanical clamping systems are often employed to ensure a stable grip on the workpiece. Tooling and toolpath definition. The appropriate cutting tools are selected based on the specific requirements of the workpiece. These tools are mounted on the lathe's tool turret or post. The operator then defines the toolpath specifying the desired dimensions, surface finish, and other machining parameters. Precision machining. The lathe machine starts rotating the workpiece at a controlled speed, while the cutting tools move along the workpiece's length, removing material with high precision. The heavy-duty nature of the machine allows it to handle large workpieces without compromising accuracy. Cutting operations. Depending on the design and specifications of the rotor shaft or axle, various cutting operations are performed. These operations might include turning, facing, grooving, threading, and tapering. The lathe's tool turret can hold multiple tools, enabling sequential operations without the need for manual intervention. Control systems and measurements. Modern heavy-duty face lathe machines are equipped with advanced control systems that ensure consistent and accurate machining. These systems often incorporate CNC, computer numerical control technology, allowing for programmable control of the machining process. Precise measurements are taken during machining using sensors and probes to ensure that the workpiece adheres to the specified dimensions.
Surface finishing. Achieving the desired surface finish is crucial in applications like rotor shafts and axles where smoothness and precision are paramount. The lathe machine's cutting tools, combined with appropriate feeds and speeds, create the required surface texture and geometry. The aluminum extrusion process is a highly versatile method used to create complex shapes with aluminum alloys for various industrial applications. 16 inches billet cutting machine. This machine precisely cuts aluminum billets to the required length, ensuring consistency in starting materials. This process involves pushing or pulling heated aluminum billets through a shaped die to produce profiles with consistent cross sections. Mold preheating furnace, a crucial step to ensure the molds are at the optimal temperature for extrusion, enhancing product quality. 6000T seamless and seamy extruding machine, capable of handling extrusions with cross sections up to 500 millimeters, this machine ensures smooth and seamless production. Four hundred fifty T stretching machine. This machine enables the stretching of extruded aluminum profiles, enhancing their mechanical properties and dimensional accuracy. Thirteen point five meters aging heat treating furnace. Aging heat treatment enhances the strength and durability of the aluminum profiles, making them suitable for various applications. Anodizing plant. With an in-house anodizing plant, the facility can provide profiles with corrosion-resistant and aesthetically pleasing finishes. Multi-axle straightening machine ensures that extruded profiles maintain precise dimensional accuracy, critical for the final product's functionality. Forty-five degree double blade angular sawing machine. This machine offers both speed and angular size precision when cutting profiles, optimizing production efficiency. Electric automatic cutting machine. This machine not only provides precise length and size but also flattens the cut surface, meeting high quality standards. Integrated manufacturing and quality control the manufacturing process is characterized by its integration with each step optimized to seamlessly transition to the next. This integration, combined with professional equipment, ensures that products meet the desired specifications and quality standards. The facility's commitment to quality control is unwavering, resulting in products that consistently meet or exceed customer expectations. Facilities' capabilities extend to a variety of CNC machines that allow for customization and versatility in aluminum extrusion profiles. Additionally, the facility offers an array of painting options, including liquid, powder, and fluorocarbon coatings, meeting different aesthetic and functional requirements. The production cycle of bolts begins with the preparation of raw materials. Input materials are thoroughly inspected, and blanks of the required size are cut using automated band saw machines. The process ensures precision cutting, necessary for high-quality final products. Hot stamping process. The hot stamping process involves heating the workpieces using high-frequency current. The inductor, powered by high-tech generators based on new-generation transistors, heats the workpieces rapidly and precisely up to a temperature of 1100 degrees Celsius. The temperature control is managed using an integrated infrared pyrometer. Depending on the product, bolts or nuts, the entire workpiece or specific parts are heated. Molding and shaping. After heating, the workpiece is placed in a mold and subjected to an impact press die. The molding process can take place in several stages, aiming to achieve the desired shape with minimal mechanical processing. Automatic marking of the blanks is carried out after shaping the bolt head.
Threading. Threading is a crucial step in bolt production. Bolts are produced using automated threading machines with tangential cutters. Threading is verified using calibers to ensure precision. For nuts, internal threading is done using semi-automatic milling machines with automatic reversing. Galvanization. Corrosion protection is vital for hardware products. Two galvanization methods are used, hot dip galvanizing and electrochemical galvanization. Blanks are prepared for galvanization through a series of steps, including washing, degreasing, etching with acid, and rinsing. The main protective layer is applied during the galvanization process, which involves dipping at high temperatures. Excess zinc is removed through centrifugation, and passivation is performed to normalize protection. During hot dip galvanization, the bolts are subjected to a high temperature zinc bath, resulting in the creation of a robust zinc layer on the surface. This layer not only provides a formidable shield against corrosion, but also grants the bolts enhanced durability and a uniform protective coating. Conversely, electrochemical galvanization involves immersing the bolts in an electrolyte solution containing zinc ions. By applying an electric current, zinc ions are deposited onto the bolt surface, forming a thin yet effective zinc coating. This layer acts as a barrier, preventing corrosive agents from attacking the metal. Final processing. The manufacturing process ends with final processing. For nuts and bolts, this includes calibration of internal and external threads using specialized taps and tools to prevent damage to the zinc layer. The Gemini's Railways wheelset GR7S is a cutting-edge horizontal lathe designed to provide exceptional power and precision in the machining of wheelsets, axles, and loose wheels for railway applications. This lathe is renowned for its versatility, catering to a wide range of wheel sizes, weights, and axle lengths, making it a comprehensive solution for various railway maintenance needs. One of the standout features of the GR7S is its high power cutting capability, which ensures efficient and accurate machining of wheel sets with a maximum wheel tread diameter of 840 to 1,250 millimeters and a track gauge of 1,435 millimeters. The lathe accommodates different wheel specifications commonly found in railway systems. It can handle wheel set weights of up to 5,000 kilograms or 8,000 kilograms and axle lengths ranging from 3,000 millimeters to 4,000 millimeters, highlighting its flexibility to accommodate various railway equipment. The lathe's design emphasizes quality output with impressive precision specifications. The radial runout is maintained at an impressive 0.10 millimeters, ensuring that the finished wheel sets have minimal imperfections. The accuracy of profile and difference in diameters between wheels are also held to a high standard of 0.15 millimeters and 0.10 millimeters, respectively. The surface roughness is kept to a remarkable 0.012 millimeters, showcasing the lathe's ability to produce smooth and finely finished components.
the GR7S is equipped with advanced technologies to enhance its performance and usability. Personalized interfaces streamline operation, while automatic measuring systems contribute to accurate and consistent machining. The SOFOP Heavy Duty CNC Lathe HT Series stands out as a reliable and robust solution for medium sized machining tasks. Crafted with precision and durability in mind, these lathes feature a construction where the major components are made from cast iron, ensuring both rigidity and a prolonged operational lifespan. A standout feature of the HT lathes is their unique bed design. In the HT6 and HT12 models, the bed incorporates three guides, including a split central guide. This innovative arrangement facilitates the smooth movement of the carriage along the tailstock side, accommodating the passage of various accessories like steady rests. In the case of the HT22 model, the bed boasts four guides, further enhancing stability and accuracy during machining operations. The HT series of lathes are engineered to tackle substantial workpieces with an impressive capacity to support loads of up to 22 tons between centers. These lathes are equipped to handle workpieces with diameters of up to 2,000 millimeters and lengths exceeding 3 meters, making them versatile tools suitable for a range of applications. Customizability is a hallmark of the HT Lathe series. They can be outfitted with different turning units, tailored to specific requirements. Options include the four-position square turret, as well as the disc turret with up to 12 positions, featuring driven tools for increased functionality. Furthermore, the design accommodates the integration of a vertical Y-axis, broadening the scope of machining capabilities. The lathes are even adaptable for tasks beyond traditional turning, including drilling, grinding, milling, and boring operations. The reconditioning of a 1,600-ton press crankshaft achieved a remarkable feat through precision engineering on a heavy-duty CNC Skoda roll turning machine. This process involved meticulous restoration of the crankshaft's critical dimensions and surface integrity. The CNC Skoda machine, renowned for its robust capabilities, ensured unparalleled accuracy and efficiency in the reconditioning process. Utilizing advanced CNC technology, the skilled operators carefully removed any deformities or imperfections restoring the crankshaft's original geometry to ensure optimal performance. The high torque capacity of the Skoda machine facilitated seamless turning and machining, resulting in a refined surface finish and enhanced mechanical properties. The VDF 4504TCM Horizontal Turnmill Center by VDF Boringer stands as an epitome of innovation and efficiency in the realm of machining technology. This advanced machine brings to the forefront a seamless blend of high productivity, cost effectiveness, and unwavering reliability. Boasting a distinctive design within the VDF TTM series, this turnmill center is a game changer for manufacturers across various sectors its prowess lies in its ability to harmonize superior output with minimized part costs, making it an appealing choice for high-volume production automotive OEMs, tier suppliers, as well as those engaged in medium and small batch size production. The scope of its applications is broad, encompassing both shafts and chuck parts, one of its standout features is its aptitude for complete machining of intricate components, opening doors for heightened productivity. 
The machine's robust construction is a testament to its commitment to excellence. Meticulously designed to withstand demanding conditions, it facilitates complex and simultaneous machining operations with finesse. Its bed, crafted from polymer concrete, embodies maximum rigidity and damping, a cornerstone of stability in precision engineering. Linear roller guides of the highest quality exemplify precision and longevity, ensuring consistent high-level accuracy over extended periods of use. An essential factor contributing to its remarkable performance is the state-of-the-art drives and guideways. These components not only deliver in terms of immediate performance, but also promise sustained excellence, signifying a machine built to stand the test of time. In essence, the VDF 4504 TCM horizontal turnmill center signifies a shift in the paradigm of machining technology. Its ability to marry productivity, cost effectiveness, and reliability, while offering a platform for machining complex parts, underscores its significance in modern manufacturing. Whether it's for large scale automotive production or intricate custom designs, this machine exemplifies the future of precision machining. This part delves into the manufacturing process of Atlas pipe piles, offering insights into the meticulous steps that ensure their high quality and reliability. Atlas Pipe Piles operates from a sprawling 500,000 square foot facility located in Chicago, Illinois. Within this facility, three production lines are at work. These production lines are capable of rolling an impressive 1,000 tons of pipe piles in a single shift, all of which are of top-notch quality. Quality assurance from the start. The manufacturing process begins with hot rolled coil steel. From the outset, quality assurance is a priority. Atlas technicians subject incoming steel coils to thorough tests to assess their tensile properties and yield strength. This ensures the flexibility and quality control essential for producing reliable pipe piles. The steel coils are then slit to the appropriate size based on the diameter of the pipe piles to be manufactured in a specific shift. Forming the pipe piles, the slit coils are loaded onto the tube forming line. As the steel is uncoiled and flattened, it is joined to the end of another coil through a butt weld. This weld is subsequently cut out and discarded, ensuring that only the highest quality materials enter the production process. The heat number of the steel used is engraved into an ID stamp on the inside of the pipe, facilitating traceability back to the steel source and manufacturing date. Efficiency and continuity. To maintain maximum efficiency and continuity, an accumulator stores up to four coils, this setup ensures that subsequent stages of the process encounter no material lag. The continuous coil of end-welded steel enters the spiral accumulator, allowing for seamless coil switching without halting production. Shaping the pipe piles. The forming process employs five forming rolls that progressively shape the welded steel strip into a curved form. The bright and polished appearance of the rollers is a testament to their efficiency. These rollers can be changed swiftly to accommodate piles of varying diameters or steel gauges. The rolling presses gradually bring the ends of the strip together, ensuring even alignment and clean, high-quality welds. Electric Resistance Welding ERW. Atlas straight seam pipe piles are welded using electric resistance welding, ERW. This process involves passing electrical current through the strip edges of the coil using copper contact shoes. The resulting resistance generates heat, with temperatures reaching up to 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite these high temperatures, the process maintains impressive speeds of up to 120 feet per minute. The outcome is a continuous longitudinal weld characterized by precision. Finishing touches and quality checks. 
excess seam from the weld is trimmed off by a scarf cutter, resulting in a smooth and nearly invisible seal. The pipe is then ironed to achieve the correct size and diameter for installation. Ultrasonic testing follows the ERW welding process, verifying the integrity of the weld and detecting any internal flaws. Faulty sections are automatically removed, guaranteeing the highest quality standards. Final steps and verification. After confirming weld integrity, the pipe is gradually cooled down using water and coolant to prevent cracking or splitting. Turks heads refine the pile to its final size and surface finish. Before cutting, the heat number is stenciled on the exterior of the pile, matching the ID stamp engraved at the beginning of the process. This heat number ensures traceability and quality verification. Destructive testing and certification. Atlas pipe piles undergo two destructive tests, the code test and flatness testing. The former assesses the weld's integrity by applying hydraulic pressure until failure or predetermined expansion occurs. Flatness testing involves flattening a sample with the weld oriented vertically and horizontally to verify both weld integrity and steel ductility. Each Atlas pipe pile receives a barcode and original mill test report, MTR, backed by coil certificates from the steel supplier. Shipping and reliability. Atlas pipe piles with lengths up to 125 feet are shipped directly to stocking partners and project sites across North America and beyond. These pipe piles offer unmatched support for deep foundation projects, backed by a commitment to quality, efficiency, and traceability. The EMC Group spearheaded a revolutionary transformation in the field of process automation, marking a significant milestone in the evolution of industrial manufacturing. Renowned as a highly international industry automation solution platform, EMC Group set forth a paradigm shift that would redefine efficiency, precision, and quality within the manufacturing sector. At the heart of this transformation lay EMC's commitment to harnessing cutting-edge automation technologies. The group's groundbreaking initiative aimed to automate a staggering 80% of machining and 70% of assembling processes through advanced automation lines. This bold approach not only streamlined production, but also significantly enhanced the speed and accuracy of manufacturing operations. One of the remarkable hallmarks of EMC's revolution was its emphasis on visibility and transparency throughout the production cycle. The group integrated an ingenious system of process visualization that granted stakeholders an unparalleled view into each step of the manufacturing journey. By making every stage of the production process visible, from raw materials to the final product, EMC Group established an environment of real-time oversight and monitoring, leading to superior quality control and reduced inefficiencies. The benefits of this process automation revolution were manifold. The increased integration of automation into machining and assembling processes led to faster production rates and higher precision, minimizing human error and yielding consistently superior results. By empowering operators with real-time data, the system not only enabled quicker decision-making, but also facilitated continuous improvement through the identification of bottlenecks and optimization opportunities.
the international scope of EMC's influence cannot be overstated. The group's industry automation solution platform transcended geographical boundaries, fostering collaboration and knowledge exchange among manufacturing companies around the world. This global outlook allowed diverse industries to adapt and implement automation solutions tailored to their specific needs, propelling the manufacturing sector into a new era of competitiveness and innovation. Keba Industrial Automation, located in Germany, stands at the forefront of mechatronic manufacturing with its cutting-edge production facility. Within this facility, a remarkable feat of engineering takes place, the production and testing of high-precision magnetic bearing motors, motor elements for synchronous motors, and magnetic bearing elements on a large scale. This intricate process serves as the foundation for KEBA's long-standing turbo solutions, which have garnered a solid reputation across diverse markets, including high vacuum, aeration, gas compression, and power generation. The heart of KEBA's manufacturing excellence lies in its ultra-modern production facility. Here, a symphony of advanced technology, skilled craftsmanship, and precision engineering come together to craft magnetic bearing motors that push the boundaries of performance and reliability. These motors boast not only impressive power generation capabilities, but also exceptionally low levels of friction and wear, thanks to the incorporation of magnetic bearings. This innovation results in reduced maintenance needs, longer operational lifetimes, and increased overall efficiency. The facility's focus on producing motor elements for synchronous motors is equally noteworthy. Synchronous motors are pivotal in various industrial applications where precise synchronization and control are essential. By mastering the production of these critical motor elements, CABA contributes to the enhancement of various sectors, from manufacturing to energy production. The magnetic bearing elements produced and rigorously tested at KEBA's facility represent another facet of its commitment to technological advancement. Magnetic bearings are recognized for their ability to levitate rotating components without mechanical contact, leading to smoother operation, reduced vibration, and minimized energy loss. Such elements play an indispensable role in turbo solutions that operate in demanding environments such as those found in gas compression and high vacuum systems. Injection molding is a widely used manufacturing process for producing plastic parts in large quantities. The heart of an injection molding machine is its screw, which plays a pivotal role in melting, mixing, and injecting the plastic material into the mold cavity. To create a high-quality screw for the injection molding process, CNC, computer numerical control, lathes are employed for precise and efficient machining. The screw used in an injection molding machine is designed with a helical flight channel that gradually compresses and melts the plastic pellets as they move along the screw's length. This molten plastic is then injected into the mold to form the desired part. The design and precision of the screw greatly impact the quality, efficiency, and repeatability of the injection molding process. This is where CNC lathes come into play. CNC lathes are advanced machining tools controlled by computer programs, 
allowing for intricate and precise machining processes. When processing injection molding machine screws, CNC lathes ensure that the screw's profile, dimensions, and surface finish are crafted to exact specifications. Here's how the process typically unfolds. Material selection. Common materials include steels, stainless steels, and specialized alloys. Design translation. The screw's design, often in a CAD format, is translated into a CNC program. This program guides the CNC lathe's movements to shape the screw accurately. Precision machining. The CNC lathe's cutting tools are used to gradually shape the screw's helical channels, as well as its core and outer diameter, according to the design specifications. The CNC system ensures that each cut is precise and consistent. Thermal and surface treatment. After the initial machining, the screw may undergo thermal treatments to enhance its durability and strength. Surface treatments, such as nitriding, can also be applied to improve wear resistance and reduce friction during operation. Quality control. Throughout the machining process, quality control checks are conducted to verify that the screw's dimensions and features match the design requirements. This step ensures that the final product will perform as expected during injection molding. Assembly. Depending on the design of the injection molding machine, the screw might be assembled with other components, such as the barrel and nozzle, before being installed into the machine. The use of CNC lathes in manufacturing injection molding machine screws offers several advantages. CNC technology enables high precision and repeatability, ensuring that each screw meets the exact specifications required for efficient and consistent plastic injection. Additionally, CNC lathes can handle complex geometries and material properties allowing manufacturers to tailor screws to the specific needs of different injection molding applications. The Buhler Extruder is a cutting-edge piece of equipment designed to transform raw materials into a wide range of products through an intricate process. The extruder's operation is characterized by several key sequences, each contributing to its overall efficiency and functionality. The initial step involves assembling the screws, a crucial component of the extruder. These screws are precision engineered to enable the desired mixing, shearing, and cooking processes. Once assembled, the extruder is ready for the next sequence. During startup, the extruder undergoes a systematic preheating process. Heaters embedded within the machine gradually elevate the temperature to the optimal range for processing. Simultaneously, the control system initializes, ensuring all parameters are within the set safety limits. As the extruder ramps up for production, the raw materials are introduced into the system. The synchronized rotation of the screws efficiently transports and blends the materials while subjecting them to controlled levels of heat and pressure. This combination facilitates chemical reactions, cooking, and the transformation of the raw ingredients into the desired product. In the event of an unforeseen circumstance, the extruder is equipped with an emergency stop mechanism. This safety feature halts all operations instantaneously, preventing potential accidents or damage to the equipment. Once the situation is resolved, 
the extruder can be gradually restarted following proper procedures to facilitate maintenance and prevent material degradation within the extruder an automatic screw pushout process is employed this procedure removes any residual material from the system preventing cross-contamination and ensuring the machine is prepared for the next production cycle. For a change in product type or recipe adjustment, the extruder offers a seamless transition. By reprogramming the control system and adjusting specific parameters, operators can adapt the process to meet new requirements, this flexibility is essential for product diversification and quality optimization. Finally, when it's time to conclude operations, the shutdown sequence is initiated. The extruder gradually reduces its temperature and comes to a complete stop while maintaining proper purging to prevent material residue from clogging the system. This careful shutdown process ensures the extruder's longevity and efficient startup for the next production run. Bus Neater technology stands out due to its exceptional mixing capabilities, rooted in a distinctive operational principle involving simultaneous screw shaft rotation and axial oscillation. This innovative approach, pioneered by Bus as the original manufacturer, enables kneaders to achieve both axial and radial mixing at controlled shear rates. The latest iterations of this technology, namely Quantec G3 and MX, exemplify high-performance machine concepts built upon the tried and true reciprocating screw working principle. Notably, the integration of four-flight technology has yielded substantial performance enhancements, particularly for compounds sensitive to heat and shear. Key features and advantages of bus kneader technology encompass an incredibly compact processing length, ensuring efficient operations. This is accompanied by uniform shearing effects devoid of temperature spikes, contributing to improved product quality. Furthermore, the technology facilitates precise temperature regulation and maintains significantly lower product temperatures, pivotal for enhancing process control and final product characteristics. Another benefit is the achievement of a narrow residence time distribution, enhancing consistency and quality in the produced materials. An extrusion machine plays a pivotal role in the automated production of a diverse range of confectionery products, including cereal bars, protein bars, chocolate bars, and more. This ingenious machine efficiently shapes semi-finished materials into these delectable treats, it accommodates various confectionery masses with differing densities, consistencies, and compositions, such as sandy dough, shoe pastry, and protein-based mixtures. By extruding the confectionery mass through specialized nozzles, the machine forms an uninterrupted product line, subsequently segmented into bars of specified lengths. Depending on the desired outcome, these bars can be subjected to baking, glazing, or packaging. The extrusion process also enables the incorporation of fillings, facilitated by a dedicated filling feeding station. The Buhler Snack Fix is a compact and efficient system designed for the streamlined production of cereal and fruit bars. This innovative solution simplifies the entire bar making process making it an ideal choice for businesses aiming to produce these popular snacks with ease and precision. The Snack Fix system comprises two main components that work harmoniously to create a seamless production line. The process begins with the preparation of the binder, achieved through quick and automated mixing and dosing. The equalizing rollers ensure a consistent shape before the precise cutting step takes place. Notably, the Snack Fix system offers flexibility due to its modular design. Operating the Snack Fix is straightforward. The mixture of water and powder is heated up to 80 degrees Celsius, followed by the loading of the cereal mix into the hopper. 
The preheated vessel then receives the prepared binder. Once the process is initiated, the system takes care of forming and cutting the bars. The products are briefly stored before undergoing optimal cutting and subsequent packaging using the flow wrapper. The Samsung SL25ASY CNC lathe is a versatile machining tool designed for precision turning and milling operations. In this case, we will explore how it works when dealing with a 2.5-6061 bar stock. The machining process begins with loading a 2.5 diameter 6061 aluminum bar stock into the lathe's chuck. The chuck securely holds the material in place, allowing for precise rotational movement. Turning the stub acme thread. Once the material is loaded and secured, the lathe spindle rotates the bar stock while the cutting tool, positioned along the z-axis, engages with the material to cut the desired stub acme thread. The CNC control system precisely controls the depth and pitch of the thread, ensuring accurate and consistent results. Off-center Y-axis milling. The SL25ASY lathe features a Y-axis that can be offset from the center line of the stock. This enables the machine to perform off-center milling operations. In this case, the Y-axis is used to create complex features on the workpiece, such as pockets or grooves, away from the center line. Finish boring. After the thread and off-center milling operations, the machine can perform finish boring. The boring tool is advanced along the Z-axis, accurately enlarging the existing hole's diameter to the desired specifications. This process ensures tight tolerances and a smooth, precise bore. Cam groove with live tooling. One of the standout features of the SL25ASY is its live tooling capability. This means that the machine's turret holds tools that can rotate and perform operations while the workpiece is stationary. To create a cam groove, a live tool is engaged. The turret indexes the appropriate tool into position, and the CNC control system precisely directs the tool's movement along the X and Z axes, cutting the cam groove into the workpiece. Retracing for chamfer. Once the cam groove is created, the live tool can be programmed to retrace its path to add a chamfer to the groove's edges. 
This chamfer enhances the functionality and aesthetics of the cam groove, and the CNC control system ensures that the chamfer is precisely applied. Cut off and transfer. After completing all the required machining operations, the lathe is ready to perform the cutoff operation. The live tool can be replaced with a cutting tool designed for parting off. The tool advances along the Z-axis, cutting through the material and separating the finished workpiece from the remaining bar stock. The newly machined part is now a separate component. Material transfer. Once the part is cut off, it needs to be moved from the main spindle area for unloading or further processing. The lathe might have automation options, such as a robotic arm, to transfer the finished part to a designated area for collection.